Today, we are attempting some more Kaizo Iron Man runs, and we had some insane ones at that. I hope you will enjoy the video, and if you do, maybe consider subscribing down below, or liking or disliking the video. It will really help me out a lot. I'm trying to reach 500 subs by the end of the year by posting daily videos for you guys to enjoy. Now, without further ado, let's get fu- I mean, beat some Kaizo Iron Man. In this video, I will tell you guys the story of Lucy the Shuckle in Kaizo Iron Man. Lucy will be avenging our first Pokemon that has ever been Brock being Spaghetto. We start off like every other run, in the lab and pick our starter Totodile. We swiftly take care of Chat's Tangela and we start getting hope. We find a Shuckle and get in some flashbacks. How I miss you, Spaghetto. We then start looking for a Blaziken since it's my favorite Pokemon of all time, but since he's only in Route 1, I give up on him. So we go to Route 22 and get our Shuckle. Unlike our last Shuckle, this one doesn't have one single great stat, but is rather spread out with both attacks being very good, but again not the best speed stat. I do however have great coverage this time around with some great moves. It's time to start our run officially. I get very lucky on the first trainer and one shot both of his Pokemon with a blizzard. That's one big run killer, defeated. We continue to destroy everyone in the forest until we get phased with our very first challenge. <sighs> well, better hit this. And we get the freeze! I'm needle arming this, I don't even care. Yeah, 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 this Shuckle, he's going for it, man. Now that was pure skill and definitely not luck at all. We beat the last match, uh, with Chop's Evolution. You ain't getting me with this one. And head to Pewter City. Being only level 16, though, isn't good. So I backtrack to defeat one last trainer and head to my rival fight, Chat. Chat sends out a scary muck and gives me a run for my money. Why am I needle arming this? I'm throwing so hard, by the way. Oh, I'm gonna lose now because of it. Oh, this is not good. Okay, whew. We got through it and we got level 19 too. Now with chat down. Oh, by the way, if you wanna be part of chat, I stream every single day on Twitch, YouTube, and Kick at 7 p.m. CET. I figured I'd mention that real quick. Anyway, Brock's up next. If you are unaware of how this fight is, Brock has five Pokemon instead of two, and all of them are 150% stronger in level. 95% runs that get here end. Let's see, can be Brock with Shuckle again. Is it just the Shuckle difference? Not gonna be too worried about this guy. Our poach. Ooh, that's not good. That's not good. That was bad. Do another needle arm. Uh, Chad, what is this Pokemon? I've never seen this one before. I, I thought that was my Blizzard. I thought that was my Blizzard. Oh my god. Oh my god! It's a Shuckle difference! It's the Shuckle difference! There is no way! <laughs> and with this, Lucy, Spaghetto's sister, is now born. Okay, Sacred Fire is scary. Don't burn. Oh, it's not good. Oh, it's bad. Oh, it's bad. Oh, I, I don't think Shuckle makes it past. I think I don't have another choice. Okay, thank god we had a full restore, I guess. That was way too close for comfort. Lucy almost didn't even officially get her name. In the spirit though of her brother, she learns the move Bone Meringue. The move that carried Spaghetto to greatness. If I would have a nickel for every time I got to Mount Moon with a Shuckle, I'd have two nickels. Which is weird. It's really weird. I enter the cave and look for as many items as possible, without beating any trainers other than the two mandatory ones being the last rocket grunt and the scientist. Oh f I thought I was one space lower. Well, I guess we fight an optional trainer. Oh, it's not good. I've already used so many blizzards. This is like instant punishment. Oh, this is bad. Okay, look, I know I accidentally ran into this trainer fight and I shouldn't have. And it's a lot worse than it might seem because I almost lost all of my blizzard PP, which is not good knowing that I have two fights to do, guaranteed. I might need the blizzards. Luckily though, I didn't actually need them and I get to beat the two trainers comfortably. I backtrack to beat some extra trainers. What are the chances? How is there- how are there three of them in Mount Moon? And now I leave Mount Macho Brace and can never re-enter it. We make it to Cerulean City and I prepare myself and Lucy for revenge. The next fight is against Chad again. This is where Spaghetto died a cruel death. And now it's time for his sister to avenge him. I forgot to equip the berry, it's fine. Hopefully I won't get punished for it. I missed. Ah, oh, that miss was so bad. Explode. Just gonna bone meringue. No flinch. Good. No flinch. Okay, no flinch, no miss. Brava, hit the blizzard. Dude, can I hit the blizzard? That's three months defeated. Hit the blizzard. No PB! Let's go. And there you have it. Lucy's revenge has been served. Now it's time to see how far Lucy will take us. 
to increase our personal best and maybe even beat the game. We clear the way on the bridge and make our way to Bill's house, but that's where something tragic happens. Because I think I only need to talk to Bill. Toxic. Oh god, that is not good. Oh, and he has so many mons as well. Oh, this is not good. Oh, this might be the end of Lucy. This- and Leech Seed! Oh, this might be the end of Lucy. Oh, I don't think I live this. I have a Soda Pop, which is 60. I can give her a Soda Pop. I think I Soda Pop because I don't think- As long as this Volby doesn't- Okay, it's a straight run now. I think I could have gotten away with a potion. But hey, at least we survived. We do make it to Bill in the end, and then start making our way to Vermilion City for the very first time. I walk into Diglett's cave to get the items on the other side. You know, the ones I can't get yet, because I need gut for that. Trust me, I know a lot about this game. And I get jump scared. Ah! 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 I should have- Ah! What the fucking? Oh no! Ah! There's level 47! So it seems that this place is considered to be the only other pivot spot in the game and could be useful sometimes, since the levels are 47 here, which is wild. We ignore this for now and we defeat every single trainer on the east of Vermilion and make our way into the SSN now. This is actually a mistake, since it would have been better to defeat Misty first, but this was my first time ever getting here, so I will allow it as a rookie mistake. Just like my moon, I get all the items right before going over to chat once again, which is the only mandatory fight. You're going down, Lucy's gonna beat the living shit out of you. All right, come on, Lucy. You don't miss those. Okay, come on, Lucy. You don't miss those. <gasps> That's an Omni boost. This could be scary. Lucy? Lucy? I'm just gonna Iron Tail. I don't want to have another Blizzard miss. Torchig. That's a Boomerang. That's a Blizzard. All right. All right, Chad. You guys are weak, man. You guys are weak. <laughs> you guys are weak. Holy sh... I've seen stronger youngster Joeys than you. Oh, my God. They were just a massive pushover, and I now have cut. Now, to be honest, I completely forgot the layout of this place, and it showed. I only get one fight in and get an unlucky paralyze, so I decided to just leave the SSN altogether, which is another mistake. Next up on my list was beating Misty. We are beating Misty. That's a kill. Jinchao is never surviving this. I think it doesn't kill. Oh, no, sorry. He doesn't live. Okay, I know this thing is gonna be... Carry because of pain split. Flinch? Oh, it outspeeds. Poison point. Ooh, that's not good. That's not good. I did not know it had poison point. Okay, it's fine though. We beat Misty. Now she had a very scary cloister. Uh, that's definitely one of the sentences of all time. But I end up beating her and we move on to the next route. This PB is going a very long way and I have faith in Lucy taking it all the way right now. We find another family member and disown her and move on to the next trainers right before the rock tunnel. I saw it and I was like, that's an angle that I can lose everything. I missed. Get yeah, a hydro pump. Why did you miss two times on it? Lucy missed two bone meringues. He could have literally died before I even knew he had hydro pump. And that's where the story of Lucy ends. Lucy did not survive this fight. The burdens of Spaghetto's revenge were too much. Her killing yet another sister of hers weighed too hard on her shoulders. Lucy could not take the pressure and missed her attacks, causing her to not just join her brother in heaven, but also join him in the heart of fame. Thank you guys for watching The Avenge of Lucy, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for another video.